Nearly one in four Americans were under orders to close up shop and stay at home Saturday, with New Jersey becoming the fifth state to direct only essential businesses like grocery stores and pharmacies to stay open in order to slow the spread of the coronavirus. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. So under this executive order, all gatherings are canceled until further notice. This means no weddings, in-person services, or even parties. We need you to just stay at home. Infections have risen exponentially, with more than 22,000 cases reported in the U.S. One of those cases belongs to an unidentified aide to Vice President Mike Pence, who was diagnosed with the virus Friday. And on Saturday, Pence said he himself would be tested for the coronavirus. And while the White House doctor has indicated that uh, he has no reason to believe that I was exposed and no need to be tested, uh, given the unique position that I have as vice president and as the leader of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, both I and my wife will be tested for the coronavirus later this afternoon. With current testing methods, samples are sent to a centralized lab where results can take days. But the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the first rapid diagnostic test for the coronavirus with a detection time of about 45 minutes. The California-based company says it plans to begin shipping it to hospitals next week. In the nation's capital, lawmakers neared Mr. a deal President. that could pump a record $1 trillion or more into the economy to limit the economic damage from the virus. Nobody's ever done a package like this. It's a great package. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said very good progress has been made, but that a number of key issues were still being hammered out. One is to address the impending public health crisis head on with a massive infusion of resources to our hospitals, our medical facilities, our other, other public health infrastructure. And the second priority is put workers first. We are continuing to make good progress. Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell scheduled a vote on the bill for Monday. Senator from Ohio. 